this video i am going to discuss one of the very important topic of natural language processing and that is the cfg parsing so in my previous video i have already explained cfg in detail with the examples with the definition and properties so i would recommend please visit my previous video to get more about the cfg and then come this video to understand what is the parsing and how many type of parsing because the cfg concept is important for these videos so let us start and please uh, uh, motivate me to uh, subscribe this channel and like this videos parsing is a method of analyzing a sentence or the string of non terminal to determine the structure according to the grammars okay so we can take the meaning uh, meaning out from the given sentence so suppose if you have any sentence and if you send this sentence to the parsing logic so what it does happen with the help of the particular language cfg or the rules then it will generate the parse tree for the given string or it can generate all the possible parse tree of the given string so there are many approach are there in nlp for the parsing but we are going to discuss the two important parsing technique here one is the top down parsing that is called the tdp and that start from the start symbol if you watch my previous video of the cfg i have given the what is the starting symbol what is the terminal what is the non terminal and when you use the bottom up parsing that is called the bup we will start from the terminal but the purpose of the both approach would be the same we have to find out the parse tree from the given sentence with the help of the cfg so suppose if one sentence has been given that sentence is called the book that right and the cfg rule is also given means in this case this is given and this is given we have to draw the parse tree so let us draw the parse tree first we take the top down parsing sentence has been given book that right and these are the rules so what i will do i will take the rules and check whether that rule is applicable of the given sentence or not so take the first rule as noun phrase and the verb phrase another set of rules is that auxiliary noun phrase and verb phrase that is not there but this is a common one third take the as and the verb phrase as and the verb phrase now check whether which is going to suitable according to the given sentence so here we know we are taking the top down approach we know what is this book book is the verb here this is not the noun so this is the ruled out it will not work second case before noun you could have any auxiliary so even i don't have the noun so i am not going to take it now the starting symbol and the verb phrase so it is matching here wait so now take the further uh, decompose the verb phrase so there are the two approach here one approach verb phrase and if you see the verb phrase we have the two part verb and the noun phrase verb and the noun phrase and we have verb phrase on a single verb so as verb phrase and the verb so we don't have this condition with you right so this is ruled out so we have this one so now we finalize this part right so with this part this is okay okay now we have to use that other part so other part is that the this is the uh, noun verb noun phrase right so so this part is confirm now second part is we take the noun phrase and noun phrase is include the alt key and the noun right so we will take the alt key and the noun right and the, you can say the alt key and we can also say the determinant both are same right so now try to set is everything is setting or not so as we have taken 
then the verb phase, then the noun phase with this verb, verb is coming, here is the determinant is coming, here is the noun is coming for the verb book determinant that and this is the flight. So that is the top down parsing for this given sentence. This is the way we do that. So if you do the practice, we can just understand this is not a big thing. Now let me uh, the bottom up approach. So we have to take some few steps. So start with the given input sentence book that flight. Now we have to derive the text from the rules. So this is my uh, text book the flight. So as per the rules, we can just derive. So book is the noun. The is the determinant and fight is the noun, right? And other possibilities would be there. Book could be the verb and the determinant and the noun, right? Now we have to uh, divide, we have to use the non, non termini also, as you have seen that use. So if you derive something bottom, that should come from the non termini. So let us noun, for the noun, we can take the non terminus nominal, for the noun, also non terminal. For the verb, for noun also nominal. For the verb, you can take the uh, uh, verb phrase and the noun the nominal. But if you see, this noun determinant noun is does not follow any rules, right? So on that basis, we can rule out that it is not possible, right? So we have to now continue with this diagram. So in this diagram, if you see. Just let me change this diagram for easy purpose. So I am just imaging here. But you can you can take the new uh, part and continue. So what we have to do here for this determinant also should have one uh, non-terminal. So I will take the single non-terminal for the both noun page because in the noun page we can take the determinant of the art key and the noun right so if you see the no, non uh, uh, noun page you can take the art key or determinant noun right so we can use that and this also says we should have the one starting symbol right so both should be bind with the one starting symbol so this is the our past tree. so i can see that from the top down also from the bottom also we achieve the same past tree, but the approach was the different and uh, that's what for the bottom up approach next video is the on the on the basis of the cky parsing and cky parsing is very uh, fast performance wise very nice and that time space everything complexity is the very nice in the uh, cky so please don't forget to subscribe this channel and watch the next video to get the complete idea inside of the nlp thank you